Hi. Um, today I'm going to show you how to solve Bayes' uh, theorem problems uh, using a tree diagram approach and a graphical approach. Your, for, uh, your book has the formula for Bayes' theorem, uh, and this uh, method that I'm going to show you essentially relies on the same formula as I will show you what I mean. The problem is that we're going to work with is a medical study investigated the relationship between two factors, smoking and heart disease, in a group of randomly selected men. Um, the study found the following. Probability of heart disease, and we're going to use that um, um, convent, uh, nomenclature to represent the probability of the event that somebody has heart disease, is 0 0.18. We also know that for someone who has heart disease, uh, the probability that uh, they are a smoker is 0 0.56. So probability that for somebody who, given that they have heart disease, so for somebody who has heart disease, probability of them being a smoker is 0 0.56. But we also know that uh, given that somebody is not does not have heart disease, the probability for them to be a smoker is 0 0.24. We want to know um, that um, given that somebody smokes, what is the probability that they have heart disease? So probability that given that you smoke, what is the probability that you have heart disease? That's what we're after. Now. Uh, when you're working with these problems, always uh, remember that um, you have two variables, at least two variables that uh, you are playing with, that you are working with. In this problem, one variable is uh, smoking, and we're going to sh represent them with the letters S and NS, smoker and non-smoker. The other one is the health of the individual. Either the person has heart disease or does not have heart, uh, heart disease, NHD. Now, when you have problems like this, what you need to do is <coughs> draw two diagrams. The first of the diagrams um, uh, that you need to do, the tree that you need to do, uh, must have a set of branches that uh, start off the analysis, and on that set of branches, the branches should represent the variable for which you have a prior probability or a simple probability. Here we have the probability of heart disease being 0 0.18. Everything else that we have is conditional. So the only event for which we have the probability, the prior probability, is 0 0.18. So I'm going to put HD. 0.18 on this branch. And the other one, of course, has to be the complement of it, no heart disease. And that would have to be 1 minus 0.18, which would be 0.82. Now, this is health uh, set of events that we start off the analysis with. Now, from there, you need to expand into branches to represent uh, the other variable. The other variable in this case is smoking. So these branches right here are going to represent smoker, non-smoker, smoker, and non-smoker. But look, these sets, this set of branches right here are the second set of branches are conditional probabilities, or they represent conditional probabilities. Why? Because off of these two branches to the left, uh, we have the event of heart disease, meaning given that heart disease has occurred or is present in this individual, what is the probability that the person is either a smoker or a non-smoker? So these are conditional probabilities. So this is given HD, given HD, and this one is given NHD, no heart disease, and this one is non-smoker, probability of being a non-smoker given no heart disease. 
Okay? These probabilities, some of them we do have. We know the probability of smoking given heart disease, this one, is 0 0.56. So this other one has to be the complement of it, which is 0 0.44. This one, uh, smoking given no heart disease, is 0 0.24. We're told that. So 1 minus that, or the complement of it, has to be 0 0.76. So we already have enough information that we can fill out the, the, the branch. Now, uh, what we have here is, remember, this right here, is uh, simple probabilities. These set of branches are conditional probabilities, and we know that simple multiplied by conditional probabilities gives us joint probabilities. So if I multiply through, I get 0.18 times 0.56, and that gives me 0 0.1. And this right here is the joint probability of heart disease and smoking. <clears throat> so that probability is probability of heart disease and smoking. This other one is 0.18 times 0.44, and that is 0 0.08. And that is um, the probability of heart disease and not smoking. This one is the probability of no heart disease and smoking. And that is 0.82 times 0.24, which gives me 0 0.2. And this last one is 0.82 times 0.76, which gives me 0 0.62. Notice, of course, that all of these have to add up to 1, because these are all joint probabilities. Okay. So we have simple times conditional equals joint. Let me recreate this tape, uh, this tree, really quickly here for you. So we had um, heart disease. I'll do it like this. We had um, heart disease, no heart disease, smoking, smoker, non-smoker smoker, non-smoker, but these are all conditional probabilities given the events that immediately preceded them. So HD given HD given NHD given NHD. We already know what these probabilities are. This one is 0 0.18, 0 0.82. This one we just computed 0 0.56, 0 0.44. Um, this one is 0 0.24, 0 0.76. And at the end of these branches, we put our joint probabilities, which happen to be 0 0.1, 0 0.08, 0 0.2, and 0 0.62. And I told you that these add up to 1. These are joints. These right here are conditionals. And if you multiply the simple, times conditional, you get these joint probabilities. This is probability of um, S and HD. This is the probability of uh, NS and HD. This is the probability of uh, uh, S and NHD, and this one is the probability of uh, S, NS, and NHD. Okay? Now what we need to do is flip this tree. How do we flip it? Uh, we started out with health conditions as our first set of branches. Now we need to reverse it and start with smoking and non-smoking as our first set of branches. And then we expand into our health conditions, and those would be heart disease, no heart disease, 
heart disease, no heart disease. And of course these are conditionals. This is given smoking, this is given smoking, this one is given non-smoking, and this one is given non-smoking. Now, our joint probabilities really don't change in value, although their order will change because we have now flipped the tree. So, <clears throat> probability of um, uh, S and HD, smoking and heart disease, would be over here, who should go over here. And if I look in this uh, other uh, tree, that would be the 0 0.1, which has the probability of uh, smoking and heart disease. So I will bring that and I will put it over here. The same thing over here. This one is the joint probability of um, S and NHD. Remember these are simple still and we, when we multiply them by the conditional we get joint. So, <clears throat> uh, probability of S and NHD is right here, S and NHD, and that's 0 0.2. So I'm going to lift that, and I'm going to bring it over here and put it over here. Notice the order is changing. Here we had 0 0.1, and 0 0.2 was the third one. Now the order is changing, and 0 0.2 is the second one. Similarly, um, 0.08 should be placed over here because that's the probability of not smoking but have and having heart disease. And finally the last one goes over here which is 0 0.62. Obviously all of these still add up to 1 right here uh, because um, they're still the joint probabilities. But our um, relationship still remains the same. Still, simple times conditional gives me joint. Now, how do I know what this simple probability is? At this point, all I have to do is add these two numbers up. So the probability of smoker is 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2, which is 0 0.3. And the probability of non-smoker is 0 0.08 plus 0 0.62, which is 0 0.7. Obviously, these two are also complements of each other. So I could have just taken 1 minus 0 0.03 to get the 0.7. I'm, I'm sorry, 1 minus 0 0.3 to get the 0 0.7. Now that I know what this is and I know what the end value is, it's through a division that I can find these conditional probabilities. So what is the probability of heart disease given smoker? It would be 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.3 which is 0 0.33. Uh, again, how do I know that? It's because 0 0.3 multiplied by some number gave me 0 0.1. So what is that number? All I have to do is take 0 0.1 and divide it by 0 0.3 to get that number. Now if you remember, that was our original question. The question was, what is the probability of heart disease given smoker? And we just solved for that to be 0 0.3. Three, three. So given that somebody smokes, the probability that they will have a heart, heart disease record would be 0 0.33. Notice that I could have computed all of this right here and finished the problem. I could have even calculated this one. 0.2 divided by 0.3 would give me this answer, which is 0 0.67. And of course, these two numbers, 0.33 and 0.67, should add up to 1. Over here, 0 0.08 divided by 0 0.7 gives me 0 0.11, and the complement of it, of course, is 0 0.89. So this one is 0 0.89. What is the probability? Um, uh, <coughs> oh, I think I've done enough for one session. This is probably a very long video. Thanks for your attention.